Hello everybody. Um, I'm going to make a video today teaching you how to convert um, OGM files to AVI and then um, if you want you can turn it into a like, oh, what is it? Hold on, let me see something. Into a, hold on, okay into a WMV. Otherwise, you could just merge it into a AVI altogether, okay? So, first thing you will want is to download the thing that I will include in the description somewhere over there. Beats me. But, okay. It is called Virtual Dub Mod, okay? Now, when you download the file I uh, show you, you just um, put it all into this folder right here, which it should already be in, okay? You don't have to worry about any of this stuff. All you really have to do is for me, all I did is just double click that, which is the exe file. Otherwise, just click auto or a u d a u x set up, okay. But otherwise, just try clicking this first, okay, right there. That file, okay. You should get something like this pop up, okay. Now, first, you should um, try to look for the thing that you just downloaded, the OGM file. Put open video file. All right, now scroll down to the, the file that you're looking for. For me, it's this, okay? And you should see in a corner right there, processing, which is what it says. Take my word for it, okay? Then you should get this screen coming up. All right, and then, if you want to test it, you can. You just press play. Mine is Fruits Basket, best anime ever. So as you can see, it works and everything. Okay, so let's stop it. All right, and then you need to go under File, which is at the right-hand corner right there. File, then go to Save As, and then just name it as whatever and save it to your desktop. Okay, just yeah, you know, do that, and then press Save. Okay, I already have mine. So once you save it, it should look something like this. where it has no volume whatsoever, just the video, okay? Oh, and by the way, once you're finished downloading, uh, make sure you have a lot of memory on your hard space, I mean, on your uh, hard drive, because as you can see right here, it takes up about uh, 30 gigabytes. But don't worry, you can definitely minimize that once uh, you're done, because <laughs> I know that's a tons of space. Trust me, I was like freaking out when I first learned about that. Okay, so anyways, then you should only have that right there, which is the only the video file, no audio, okay? Oh, sorry about that, something else there. Okay, um, and then you click File, or no, is it File? I think it is, no. All right, you go to Streams, you go to Stream List, right there, under there, Stream List. And then you should see this right here, all right? Now, you do not have to extract the text file, okay? For subtitles, I don't feel like um, teaching you how to do that, um, the link that I'm going to provide you if you really want to know how to do that as well, the, um, the tech, I mean the, the subtitles, you can learn it from there, not too difficult, but right now I don't have the software in order to do that and I don't feel like downloading more, so just get the audio right there, it should be the first one, right there, right click it, first press uh, full processing mode, alright, uh, sometimes it'll just bring up a, uh, wait hold on, Compre Okay, hold on. Alright, I know what I did wrong, sorry. Okay, so you go to um, full, click full processing mode. Then click conversion right there. Okay, now um, I would just leave it at what it's at. I mean, I don't see any difference when I do it. Okay, then press OK. And then you press that save WMA right there. Yes. Okay, click it. Save as whatever you want. It's to your desktop. Okay. And then mine, it is right, where did I put that? Right there, that's it. The volume. I don't know. Yeah, so, yep, then you should have, after uh, you converted that, you should have that right there, that right there, and if you have subtitles, you should have, uh, you should see some subtitles there as well. Um, and then you go under Windows Movie Maker, that's what I use to merge the audio with the video. Um, otherwise, I would just Google um, audio and video converter, I mean a merger, and then just merge them together, but this is really simple to do, although it takes a long time, like it takes about a half an hour or so to download uh, 
one episode a movie, well, you just do one episode times four, or three, which would take about an hour and a half. Pretty much whatever the length of the video actually is, is what the length of the, that once it's done, it's going to be, okay? So you go under here, video, audio, right there, okay? Then it should be quite long, you know, in Windows Movie Maker. All right, you click Publish Movie, just do for this computer, okay? Uh, you can name it whatever you want, okay? Now, here's what you need to do. C click on, click that Compress 2, because otherwise the quality will be pretty crappy. So I would put it anywhere from 500 um, megabytes, which is right there as you can see, anywhere from 500 to a thousand megabytes because then I'm not sure why but like when, when it's done it ends up being compressed to uh, about 315 for the for the 500 one that is so it, it about halves it and then you just click uh, publish movie wait for it to download and then once you're all done you should have uh, it done right there and this was what I had Okay. Yep. All right. So if there is any questions, feel free to ask. I'll try my best. All right. I just I'm not a computer expert. I actually just got this from a website and tried doing some random stuff myself. So, but do not hesitate to ask. I'm on uh, on the weekends. I'm on all the time. Weekdays not so often, but still I'm on most of the time. So thank you for watching and goodbye. Watch my other video today. I'm uploading another one about the Nintendo 64 emulator on the Wii. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.